Good evening. AWB leader Eugene Tablanche has handed himself over to prison authorities to begin his jail sentence. Despite the humiliation of having to spend the next year in prison as an ordinary inmate, Tablanche again showed why he remained a person hated by some and adored by others. Behind drawn curtains and burglar bars, Eugene Terblanche, leader of the Afrikaner Weerstandsbeweging, was preparing to spend the next year of his life in prison for assault. He has been granted leave to appeal his six-year sentence for attempting to murder Paul Mutabi on March the 25th, 1996. Accompanied by a convoy of supporters and his wife, Ter Blanche left for Poch of Sturm, where he had to hand himself over to court officials and the police. The atmosphere in front of the courthouse in Poch of Sturm was almost festive. Many felt that a one-year sentence is too light. It's a far line. It's a far line. I just want to see giving being, being a life sentence. While others clearly sympathized with the man. It's all all what I will say. Ter Blanche arrived on the back of his trusted steed, Rolf. And as I here outstep, then I come here on the Swart Paard, and we ride a new, better South Africa in Algeria. Ter Blanche will spend the next 12 months in the Port of Sturm prison, where he will be treated like any other inmate. Karen Brabeen, SABC, Port of Sturm. German fugitive Jürgen Hoxen is one step closer to being sent home to stand trial for fraud. Hoxen has been wanted in Germany since 1993 for fraud totaling 350 million rand. Today, the Constitutional Court dismissed his appeal against an extradition order. Constitutional Court judges have acknowledged that this case is just the latest in a series of legal delays brought by Hoxen to prevent his extradition. But despite the couple's legal tenacity, Jürgen Haxen lost his appeal in the Constitutional Court today. Accordingly, both constitutional arguments made by the appellant are dismissed. The order reads as follows. The appeal is dismissed. There is no order as to costs. Haxen has been challenging the Extradition Act, saying it's unlawful and invalid. There's no extradition treaty between South Africa and Germany. But according to the Act, in the absence of a treaty, Individuals are liable for extradition if the president consents in writing. Haxen is wanted in Germany for fraud totaling 350 million rand. Questions are being asked about how Mpumalanga's dismissed education head, Faith Sotole, was offered a 2.6 million rand golden handshake on her departure. The department itself apparently never authorized the state attorney to make such an offer. Yesterday, the Pretoria High Court ordered the department to honor the agreement. She only was fired in January because of underperformance and because she was in charge during the 1998 Pentrick result scandal, which is still under investigation. The province's education MEC Craig Padihachi says he gave written instructions that no negotiations were to be made with Sitoli and certainly did not give permission for a 2.6 million rand golden handshake. This was apparently ignored by the state attorney. With regards to the settlement, there is going to be an investigation here to find out did who gave the state attorney a mandate, if there was one, uh, like he claims. And also the state attorney's office has also indicated to me that they will also investigate whether uh, it was professional for him to, 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 to commit us to such an amount. And therefore we're looking into this. I won't leave it uh, just lying like that. At this stage, it looks like the department may have to pay out following the Pretoria court order to honor the agreement. Jan Verlioen, SABC, Nelspreet. About a thousand workers employed by Telcom will be retrenched tomorrow.